allegations are, in this particular matter are that Mayor Sessoms failed to make the public declarations that were required by statute. The penalty is small, but the accusations facing the mayor of Virginia's largest city are quite serious. Tonight, Will Sessoms prepares to fight charges in a conflict of interest case a year in the making. Those charges for Mayor Sessoms are tonight's big story at 6. Today, the special prosecutor investigating the accusations of conflict of interest laid out his case. And here's what we know about the charges. There are five criminal summonses in total, each one a violation of the state's Conflict of Interest Act. They date back to votes on projects from 2011 to 2014. Sessoms saw and signed those summonses this afternoon, and he will likely go to trial before the end of the year. Now the details. In two Two reports for you tonight. Ten on your side, Jason Marks has reaction from local and state lawmakers about the charges. First, Andy Fox has covered this story for months now with what happened today and what's ahead in the Sessoms case. Andy? So, Tom, we are into this one year. We now have five charges, all of them misdemeanors involving three different projects. Tonight, we take a look at one of those votes. We take a look at that vote and we ask this question. Is it possible for the prosecutor to see the vote one way and the defendant, Mayor Sessoms, to see it another? Virginia Beach Mayor Will Sessoms told us today he never did anything intentionally. I have never participated in any vote with the intention of benefiting myself personally or my former employer. But those are the charges against him. Following the investigation by Special Prosecutor Michael Doucette, reading from State Code. You shall make these declarations if you have a personal interest in this particular transaction. Let's take a look at one of Sessom's votes involving the 25th Street project. On March 11, 2014, Sessom's votes to change the deal to buy the parking garage for public parking. When it was complete, rather than buying it after the entire project is built, which it still isn't today. The city paid off the garage in July over $7.65 million. That cost Town Bank, where Sessom's was a president at the time, thousands of dollars and potential interest in town banks line of credit on the project. City Councilman John Earn. If Will was interested in town bank that he should have voted no uh, and, and then they would have uh, had all of that interest. We asked said if that vote shows conflict of interest which he is alleging. It sounds like you and I want to switch places. No. <laughs> no I mean, and I, I'm not, I mean you're, you're doing all the testifying here, uh, but, but and again, I, I, I can't comment on that. I mean, you, you are asking me directly about what our evidence is, and, and again, I, I've said it over and over again, I cannot try it in this plaza. I have to try it in the courtroom. You get the feeling Sessoms is ready to fight, to explain, and defend himself. I intend to address these charges and each and every allegation in the coming days and weeks. Tonight, some people are asking, is the mayor going to step aside while all this is going on? We can tell you from what we have heard and what we have learned. The answer to that question tonight is absolutely not. In Virginia Beach, Andy Fox, 10 on your side.